Hi, today I'm going to read Elma and Grandpa Eldo. Elma, the patchwork elephant, was picking fruit. Picking fruit, Elma, asked the monkey. I'm going to see Grandpa Eldo, and this is his favorite, said Elma. Golden Grandpa Eldo, said monkey. That's nice. Grandpa Eldo was pleased to see Elma. What a lovely surprise, he said. What's that balanced on your head? Your favourite fruit, said Elma. Fancy you remembering that, said Eldo. I remember lots of things, said Elma. What else do you remember, asked Eldo. The walks we used to go on, said Elma. Walks? Where did we go? Eldo asked. Don't you remember, said Elma. I'll show you, come on. We used to come this way, past the rocks, said Elma. Here, I used to hide, then jump out and shout. Elma turned round, but Eldo wasn't there. Grandpa? Grandpa Eldo, where are you? He called. Eldo suddenly jumped out in front of Elma. Boo! He shouted. Oh, Grandpa, Elma laughed. I was supposed to do that. Come on, now we go down to the stream. At the stream, Elma said, don't you remember anything? We used to play stepping stones. Show me, said Eldo. There were already some rocks in the water. Elma added more to fill the spaces. Now walk across, he said. Be careful. There's usually a wobbly one. Suddenly there was a huge splash. Elmer had fallen in. You were right. You have a good memory, Eldo chuckled. Elmer laughed. Lucky it's not deep. Now where? asked Eldo. You still don't remember, said Elmer. To the lake, of course. We used to play ducks and drakes, said Elma. He picked up a flat stone and sent it skipping across the water. Seven splashes, he said. Let me try, said Eldo. You need a nice flat stone, said Elma, but Eldo had already thrown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They counted together. When they set off again, Elmer started to sing. Eldo joined in. Then the birds joined in too. When we're marching on our way, bimpity bump, bimpity bump, we like to laugh and play, bimpity bump, bimpity bump. And when we can't think what to do, we simply hide and then shout, boo! When we're marching on our way, bumpity bump, bimpity bump. When they shouted boo, the birds flew around squawking with laughter. <laughs> it started to rain, so they dashed into a cave for shelter. Surely you remember the stories you used to tell me, Elmer asked. Eldo frowned. What were they? he asked. Red Riding Hood? Jack and the Beanstalk, Cinderella, Three Little Pigs, mm, Billy Goat's Gruff, uh, Sleeping Beauty, Elmer hesitated, Hansel and Gretel, Tom Thumb, Goldilocks, Eldo continued. You cheat, you do remember, said Eldo. Eldo laughed and ran, and now the rain had stopped, ran off. 
Elmer chased him all the way back to Eldo's place, shouting, you tricked me. You remembered everything. I'll get you, Grandpa Eldo. After they had their breath back and stopped laughing and finished the fruit that Elmo brought, it was time to go home. It's been fun, Grandpa, said Elmo. You really remembered everything, didn't you? Yes, chuckled Eldo, and I was so happy that you did too. Best of all, you remembered to visit me, Elmo smiled. Bye, Grandpa, see you soon. Now here is a picture of Grandpa's favourite fruits. That's funny because they look more like sausages. Correct, not trees. Mm. Oh, anyway, now I've got three questions for you. Nice easy ones, I hope. My first question is, what colour is Grandpa Eldo? Question number two is what game did they play at the lake? I'll give you a clue. And a yes or no question. Did Grandpa Eldo remember everything? Or was he just tricking Elmer? Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.